Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's video, we are going to see the certainty factor rules of the uh, artificial intelligence, which is considered as very good mechanism for uncertainty handling. In the past video, I told regarding the Dempster-Schaffer theory. So, I told the pros and cons of the Dempster-Schaffer theory, how it is going to be handled. Now, we are going to describe the certainty factor rules as an extension of the Dempster-Schaffer theory and uh, how it can handle the uncertainty from the artificial intelligence. Okay. So, uh, some few points regarding this certain factor factors uh, rules, certainty factor rules that we are going to see now. See, it shares some foundations with the Dempster-Schaffer theory, but more practical. It is built on the Dempster-Schaffer theory principles but it, it works in the reality as more practical way. So, it denotes the belief in a hypothesis H given some pieces of the evidence are observed. Okay, here belief means the evidences that are observed is nothing is nothing but the belief in the case of the certainty factor rules. No statements about the belief is no evidence. So, when, whenever the belief is existing, whenever there are evidences are existing that is considered as the belief or else it is not at all a belief. Okay, so it is some completely some opposite part of your base method. Okay, so next, what is belief and what is disbelief? How can we measure this belief and disbelief in the certainty factor rules? Here, measure of belief can be described as the degree to which the hypothesis H is supported by evidence E. So, measure of belief for hypothesis H at evidence E can be described as 1 if probability of hypothesis is equal to 1. Okay, so probability of hypothesis on E is equal to probability of hypothesis by 1 minus probability of hypothesis. Otherwise, it is, otherwise, uh, this one is measure of disbelief. So, what is the measure of disbelief? The degree to which doubt in hypothesis is supported by the evidence that is considered as the disbelief. Disbelief means what? The doubt in, in which... Uh, to which doubt the hypothesis is supported by the evidence E. So, belief means what? The degree to which hypothesis is supported. Disbelief means what? The degree to which the doubt is uh, in hypothesis is supported by the evidence E. So, measure, measure of belief can be described as H, comma, E is equal to 1 if probability of H is equal to 1. Here also the measure of disbelief, measure of disbelief can be described as in H, comma e is equal to 1 if probability of h equal to 0 in the previous case of belief it is 1 but in the disbelief case it is probability of h equal to 0 so that is probability of h is equal to probability of h by h on e by probability of h otherwise it is uh, different so like this the belief and disbelief methods can be described like this and how the certainty factors can be represented. Certainty factor is ranges in between minus 1 and 1. So, what is the minus 1 here is denial of the hypothesis H and 1 is the confirmation of H. Now, certainty factor is equal to measure of belief minus measure of disbelief by 1 minus minimum of measure of disbelief comma measure of belief. So, the combining uh, certainty factor rules is uh, you with, with the combining of with the join sorry with the using of measure of belief and measure of disbelief the certainty factors certainty factor can be constructed as measure of belief minus measure of disbelief by 1 minus minimum of measure of disbelief and measure of belief like that it can be computed so this combining antecedent evidence is huge of premises with less than absolute confidence so e1 and e2 that is equal to minimum of certainty factor h comma e1 comma h comma e2 E1 or E2 can be divided, can be represented as maximum of certainty factor at uh, hypothesis on E1 and the certainty factor hypothesis on E2. Negation evidence is equal to negation of certainty factor uh, hypothesis on evidence. So, evidence 1 and evidence 2 is minimum of the certainty factors and e, evidence 1 or evidence 2 is the maximum of the certainty factor evidences on hypothesis E1 and E1, E2 and uh, no evidence is equal to no certainty factor on uh, hypothesis and evidence. So, like that the certainty factors can be represented. So, combining the certainty factors, certainty factors that support the same conclusion, several rules can lead to the same conclusion applied incrementally as new evidence becomes available. So, certainty factors that support the same conclusion and it applied incrementally whenever new evidence is available. So, see free uh, that is uh, C fold C F new certainty factor reverse is equal to certainty factor fold certainty factor new 
that can be given as certainty factor fold plus certainty factor mu into 1 minus certainty fold if both greater than 0, if both less than 0, if less than 0, C fold plus C nu, C of nu by 1 minus minimum of modulus C fold comma modulus C nu if 1 less than 0. Like that we can represent the certainty factors. So better to follow this theory that is certainty factor is equal to measure of belief and measure of disbelief. Like that it is somewhat practically observe the evidences whenever ev evidences will be there then only it believes or else there is no belief like uh, mm, your Dempster-Schaffer theory here it is somewhat practical even it is the extension of this Dempster-Schaffer theory it is somewhat practical. Okay. So what are the uh, advantages of this uh, dempster schaffer theory sorry of this certainty factor rules it is very simple implementation as compared to your dempster schaffer theory reasonable modeling for human experts belief and um, mm, it can be used the measures of belief and disbelief and uh, successful applications for certain problem classes and uh, evidence relatively very easy to gather and no statistical basis required. Remember, in the certainty factor rules, there is no statistical basis required. Just it is the base, uh, just it is the extended principles of the dempster schaffer theory. There is no statistical formation here we have used. And it is very simple to implement and uh, reasonable modeling of human experts belief. And it follows the measures of belief and as well as the disbelief. All these are the advantages of the certainty factors and now what are the negative ends of the certainty factor rules so the combination of non-independent evidence and unsatisfactory, unsatisfactory it's not suitable for long inference chains and certainty factors can become the opposite of conditional probabilities for certain cases and new knowledge is required uh, and, and it may require some changes in the certainty factors of the existing knowledge. So partially, partially it is highly ad hoc approach and not suitable for uh, high long inference chains and um, they can become opposite of the conditional probabilities. It's completely opposite to the base and con conditional probability rules and new knowledge may require changes in the certainty factors of the existing knowledge. So all these are some of the negative ends of the certainty factor rules. So this is one of the powerful mechanism to handle the uncertainty in the artificial intelligence that is the certainty factor rules. So in the coming video we talk about some more things relevant to the certainty factor rules uh, and as well as uh, some uh, fudgy logic concepts okay some uh, things relevant to the fudgy logic concepts. If at all anybody didn't subscribe my channel Please subscribe my channel, Intelligible Tutorials. Thank you. Thank you, one and all.